SwiftUI's pickers serve multiple purposes and exactly how they look depends on which device you're using and the context the picker is inside. In our project, we have a form asking users to enter how much their check came to, and we want to add a picker to that so we can select how many people will share the check. Pickers, like text fields, need a two-way binding to a property so they can track which item is selected. We already made an at state property for this purpose called number of people. So our next job is to loop over all the numbers from two through to 99 and show them inside a picker. Modify the first section in your form to include a picker, like this. Picker, number of people. Selection, dollar number of people. For each, two, up to 100. Text, string interpolation, dollar zero, people. Now run the program in the simulator and try it out. What do you notice? Hopefully you can spot several things. First, there's a new row that says number of people on the left and four people on the right. Second, there's a gray disclosure indicator on the right edge, which is the iOS way of signaling that tapping the row shows another screen. Third, tapping the row doesn't show another screen. Fourth, the row says four people, but we gave our number of people property a default value of two. So it's a bit of two steps forward, two steps back. We have a nice result, but it doesn't quite work and doesn't show the right information. We'll fix both of those, starting with the easy one. Why does it say four people when we gave number of people the default value of two? Well, when creating the picker, we used a for each like this. For each, two to 100. That counts from two up to 100, creating rows. What that means is that our zeroth row the first that's created contains two people. So when we gave number of people the value of two, we're actually setting it to the third row, which is four people. So although it's a bit brain bending, the fact that our UI shows four people rather than two isn't a bug. But there is still a large bug in our code. Why does tapping on the row do nothing? If you create a picker by itself outside of form, iOS will show a spinning wheel of options. Here though, we've told SwiftUI that this form is for user input. So it's automatically changed the way our picker looks so it doesn't take up much space. What SwiftUI wants to do, which is also why it's added that gray disclosure indicator on the right edge of the row, is to show a new view with the options from our picker. To do that, we need to add a navigation view, which does two things. Gives us some space across the top to place a title and also lets iOS slide in new views as needed. So, Directly before the form, add navigation view and an open brace. And after the form's closing brace, add another closing brace. If you run the program again, you'll see a large gray space at the top, which is where iOS is giving us room to place a title. We'll do that in a moment, but first, try tapping on the number of people row, and you should see a new screen slide in with all the other possible options to choose from. What you're seeing here is the importance of what's called the declarative user interface design. This means we say what we want rather than how it should be done. We said we wanted a picker with some values inside, but it was down to SwiftUI to decide whether a wheel picker or a sliding view approach is better. It's using the sliding view approach here because the picker is inside a form, but on other platforms and environments, it could choose something else. Before we're done with this step, let's add a title to that new navigation bar. Give the form this modifier. Dot navigation bar title, we split. Now it's tempting to think that modifier should be attached to the end of the navigation view, but it needs to be attached to the end of the form inside it instead. The reason is that navigation views are capable of showing many views as your program runs. So by attaching a title to the thing inside the navigation view, we're allowing iOS to change titles freely. 